Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Stacy. I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison if you use the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation by itself or if you add the e.l.f. Hydrating Booster Drops. How it applies, how it wears, and all that stuff. So I do have dry skin, I am over 40 years old. So if that sounds interesting, then keep on watching. Yes, with these, with e.l.f. items, sometimes you should keep the packaging because the instructions are not on the bottle, but I think you could mix that, you just mixed them into your foundation a couple drops. And the color I have is pearl. And a lot of times I use either a brush or the Tati Blendiful to apply my foundation, but the Tati Blendiful right now I have misplaced in the move, but it's gotta be around here somewhere. So today I'm going to use, this is the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush. So I'm just all about e.l.f. So I'll put a couple drops of foundation and I put a couple drops of that, the hydrating, hydrating booster drops. And then I'm gonna, just gonna swirl it together and put it on just like I normally would. So I think that that went on pretty good, smoothed out evenly, and I think it doesn't look drying or anything right now. So just to make sure I don't still have any hydrating boost drops on my brush, I'm going to clean it with the color switch. It applied about the same, spread out the same. My cheek area with the booster drops, I'm not sure why that would be, but I feel like it looks a little bit plumper right here. So again, this side is the one with the drops added into the foundation. Let me know if you think you can tell a difference. I don't really see a huge difference, but yeah, a little bit around my cheek area, I feel like is a little bit more right there is kind of where I see the difference, a little bit more plumper and not quite as drying. So let me know what you think again. So I will finish doing my makeup and then I will check back in when I'm done to see if we can see a difference then. Okay, right, so I have finished my makeup. Let's see if either side looks different. I do think that my cheek with the drop side, I do think it looks a little bit plumper, which probably means it's not as dry over here. Let me know what you think. Again, this side has the drops and this side does not. So this is about three hours later out in natural light. So this side does not have any of the hydrating drops in the foundation. And this side does, so do we see a difference? Uh, this one is settling into fine lines more. So I've had my makeup on for about eight hours. So before I wash it off for the night, I wanted to do a check-in. This side had the e.l.f. hydrating booster drops and this side did not. So let me grab my mirror. Um, they are very similar. I think that the foundation wore similar on both sides. So it's very slight, but I do think that the hydrating booster drops, like right here, I feel like it still looks a little bit more plumper than this side. And normally that's like kind of where I really get dry there in my T-zone. I definitely think that, again, it's not a huge difference. So if you don't have really dry skin, I don't know if it would really be worth adding these in to your routine, but if you have really dry skin and you notice that when you put on your foundation, it kind of looks dry by the end of the night, you might want to give these a try. When I will continue to use these drops, 
but when I am out of them, I don't think that I'll probably repurchase them just because it's not a huge difference, but yeah, I definitely will finish them up. Let me know down below if you have used these before. I'm glad I got them, and since there is a little bit of a difference, but one thing that I really do love with e.l.f. that kind of also helps with hydrating is this e.l.f. dewy setting mist out of it. Now this I will definitely repurchase, but yeah, so there's my thoughts. Uh, let me know down below if you have dry skin, what if you have any tips or tricks on keeping your skin hydrated when you put on foundation, and if you've ever tried these. Let me know, and I hope to see you back here again. Thanks for watching. Bye.